Hey guys, it's Rick Utzer here with Ergon Web, Ergon Web TV, and today we're going to take a look at the Air Arms. This is the XS, it's the S510 Ultimate Sporter Regulated. This thing's sweet. It just, period, hands down, awesome air gun. We've been doing some testing with this. We've been kind of bringing it, you know, from out of the box, basic testing, velocity, shot count, all that kind of stuff. And today I want to see what we can do at 75 yards. So I'm going to shoot with my phone scope rigged up so we can see, hopefully it'll work really good right through the scope. We've done that already. I love that because I like you guys to see the first focal plane. This is the Hawk first focal plane scope and the, the glass is just so clear on that. Uh, hopefully you guys can really appreciate uh, that optic if I use that phone scope. We're already set up at 75 yards. We're going to shoot a couple 10 shot groups here and then we'll be back. We'll talk about them and we'll wrap it up. All right, here we go. 75 yards. I think. Let me double check. Yep, 75 yards. Okay. They come out. Let's clear it. Yep, yeah, okay, it was out. Okay, so here's what I learned in that little exercise. The wind plays a huge difference at 75 yards. Um, it was grouping just a little bit left of the bowl, and as the wind picked up, and I gotta get streamers out there, because if I had streamers and I could judge and see what the wind was doing, it would be very easy with this scope to actually bring that back into adjustment. It's just an another skill set I've got to really develop, but I've got to have the right data coming from out there to let me know what the wind's doing. Because when the wind was calm, it grouped like this, and that's 75 yards. When the wind would blow, you could see it push that pellet left to right. So that's pretty interesting. Um, looks like I really need to get some streamers. Okay, here we go. 75 yards, 10 shots, full power. Let's see if I got, oh, load up the bag real quick. All right, so one of the things we're doing is just testing. The more pellets you shoot down the barrel, the more opportunities you take to get in some trigger time, probably the better you're gonna get. Now this gun is accurate. If it misses, it's all me. So I need to learn how to make this gun really perform to its best, which usually means I need to figure out how to perform to my best. So that's why we're just down here getting some trigger time in. Now we're shooting at 75 yards, and one of the things that's super important to do with a regulated gun, especially with one you're not single shot loading, you gotta let the reg recover in between shots. All right, so let's see here.
think that was it. Let me just clear it. Yep. All right. I'm going to go down and take a look at that target. Guys, that was pretty awesome. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about what we got for results. But before I do that, I want to apologize to PhoneScope. You know, they have this incredibly awesome piece of equipment here. It uh, takes whatever phone, this is an LG V40. I got the little cover for it. This slaps on here. You just ratchet it to your scope and you can get footage. And the first group, we got footage of that. That was awesome. The second group, it would have been awesomer, I'm making up that word, if we'd gotten footage of that. But you gotta have an operator that's not a complete idiot, like I happen to be today because I forgot to hit the record button. Great piece of hardware, but you gotta have somebody that remembers to hit record to get the footage. Let's go ahead and start with our first group here. There she be. That's 75 yards, the wind picked up. As you see, we have 10 shots here. Depending on which way the wind was blowing, I could watch my shots get pushed one way or the other. And I don't know if I was as stable as I was with that group as I was with the second group. But that tells me we're in the right ballpark. The gun has the capabilities if the shooter behind the trigger is doing his job or her job. Now let's go to the second group. And this is one, boy, I wish I had gotten this on camera. Well, at least on phone scope. Look at that. That is a world-class group from a gun that's a world-class gun. I'm super impressed. Now, will it do it a second time? That's what we're going to find out. Uh, the next video, we will take this back out to 75 yards, shoot it a couple more times, and see what kind of composite group, look at all the groups, and see what we kind of get overall. If they start shooting all of them like this, and it may be pressure related, you know, we may have to find that perfect pressure, but if they all start shooting like this, then this gun is a serious contender for competitions like EBR and stuff like that. Very, very impressed. That's going to be it for now, guys. My name is Rick Utzer here with Ergon Web, Ergon Web TV. Thanks for watching.